Well, the NYPD released data showing crime in June was down, but with violence being captured on video almost every week, New Yorkers are not convinced. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt digging into if the city is actually under siege by criminals. are happening all across the city, not in just one borough. And the videos go viral pretty quickly. Wild crime videos ranging from a shooter firing a gun out of a car's sunroof to a driver intentionally jumping onto a busy sidewalk to try and escape police. It seems as though it is a free-for-all when it comes to crime in the city. We're definitely living in critical times right now. Yes, and everybody's feeling it. We had COVID three and a half years. People, people are not the same. Crime is very crazy. Uh, that's because uh, nobody's doing anything about it. No one is. All the politicians, they're all thinking about child care and blah, 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 blah. But then they're not really thinking about the real problem. The average New Yorker is definitely more aware. And the reason we are more aware is because so many of these eye-popping crimes are caught on video. Mike Alcazar is an adjunct professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice and is a retired NYPD detective. I remember as a cop five years ago, let's say, that I would tell people about crime and they just didn't understand it. They had no idea what was going on because, again, they didn't see it. But now it's pushed onto social media. However, he says the alarm the average New Yorker feels after seeing these wild videos is short-lived because the crime is not happening to them. I think New Yorkers, for the most part, you know, they'll see it, they'll get concerned, but then they still have to go to work. They have, they have to still live and work in New York City. So I know a lot of them will say, oh, it's not as bad as portrayed in the news because, you know, that's not what they experience. I don't deal with it. It doesn't seem like it affects me a lot day to day. In Harlem, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.